Run with solar, what's going on guys? This is Joe and in this video I wanted to give you a, more of a detailed overview of the system. There's a lot of features in here so I'm gonna run through those. By now you've probably watched video one and video two on runwithsolar.info uh, slash learn. So anyways, um, if you haven't watched those yet, I definitely recommend you do. Those are kind of the first you know, foundational videos to this one here. These are kind of just things that I'm gonna cover that I probably just touched on in the first video. Um, so a couple things that we want to look into. So number one, I'm going to go tab by tab here. Uh, on the left side, if you're on your computer, this is what you're going to be seeing once you log into your website. And by the way, if you're watching this video and you don't have a Run With Solar account yet, just go start a free trial. You can test this thing out. You're going to get everything that you're seeing here um, as long as you subscribe to the pro package. But it's totally up to you. So with that being said, if you go to runwithsolar.info, you'll be able to take care of that and start a free three-day trial. We have those for, available for a limited time right now. So first things first, the Configure Site Basic Setup tab. This is where you're gonna put your solar company URL. So if you guys have like a replicated website through the company that you're, you're uh, working with as far as solar goes, you're gonna wanna put that here. What the, these links do here, you can put it here and here, is any of the pages that we have that say like sign up now or request a quote or whatever, um, you're gonna obviously get that leads information before that, but if you wanna send them somewhere where they can actually uh, call your company and they do the closing for you or however it works, that's where you're gonna put those links, right here, all right? Site title, you guys can name this, you know, Joe's Solar or whatever you wanna name it. Um, it'll just on occasion pop up in the tabs at the very top. Set up your alerts for sure. I talked about this in video one, but be sure to set up your uh, email alerts and also your mobile phone alerts. You can go ahead and grab right here, um, you know, the format for your, your phone provider to be able to put up here and then click save. After you do that, you can move on to the My Social Links section. This is where you can put your links in here. Now in the, on the tour page and some other pages in the system, if we have it coded where it's gonna show your Facebook, you know, like the Facebook icon or something, what'll happen is if someone clicks on that, it'll go out to the link that's pasted here. So you might wanna put your Facebook URL here, your LinkedIn URL here. If you have a YouTube channel, put that here. You don't need to worry about this too much, but if we code pages that will pull this information, it will display on the page only if you've put information in here, all right? So if you don't wanna put any of this in here, you know, don't worry about it, but that's what that is. For all you Facebook marketers, your Facebook uh, pixel ID, go grab that from your Facebook ads manager and put that in here. All the lead capture pages are set with a retargeting pixel. So every single time someone visits one of your pages, uh, it will then pixel them and then you can retarget them. The tour pages are equipped with a conversion pixel. So you guys can actually optimize your Facebook ads for conversions. So definitely put your pixel ID in there. Your PayPal email, don't worry about that. We're not doing any of that here. And the Google Hangout link, you don't need to worry about that here right now either. However, if you do click on this link, you'll see we have a page here that has a blank video. If you guys wanted to make like a custom video page or stream like a, 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 a Hangout or something, you guys can go ahead and pop your Google Hangout page ID uh, here and it will then live stream into here. So that's how that works. And if you have any questions on that, you can always just submit a support ticket, we can help you further. All right, my photo right here. If you guys wanna pop and we recommend you do, putting a picture up, um, which will populate on the tour page, you know, at the very bottom, I believe is where it is. Uh, but anyways, if you want to have a picture uploaded of you, pop a photo in here. Now here's what's probably gonna happen. If you guys just upload a regular picture, it might say, hey look, this is a little bit too big. So the ideal size is 200 by 200. I recommend using a service like pickresize.com. You can pop your picture in here and then resize it to make it 200 by 200 um, and then pop that in here. That way it's not too big and it'll load properly. So that's how you do that with your, with your photo. Here's your My Story tab. You guys don't need to worry about this too much, but if we have anywhere in the system where we display your story, uh, it'll pop in here. What I recommend doing is opening up like a Word, Microsoft Word document, typing it there, and then pasting it into here. I've had people type it in here, and then leave, you know, and not click save, and then the session expired and the story went away. So I recommend you guys open up Microsoft Word or Google Docs or something, type it there so it's saved, and then you can paste it in here. And you don't need to make it very long, just a quick summary is fine, okay? 
Uh, and then meta tags, you can worry about that if you want. You can read this, obviously this tells you a little bit more about what it is, uh, but you can pop these in here if you'd like. Don't worry about it too, too much, but if you're an SEO person, you might wanna take a look at that. All right, so that's that. My marketing pages, the My Links page. This is where your new solar tour page is, or I should, this is just a new page, that's why it says new, but your solar tour page here, which has a lot of information about solar. So if you wanna just send this to a friend to give them a detailed overview, you don't care about collecting them as a lead, you can go in and send them this page directly if you'd like. We're always enhancing this one, okay? Um, here is your system referral link. If you guys haven't signed up for our affiliate program yet, you can do so by just copy and pasting this link into a browser and then signing up. If you wanna do that, you guys can earn commissions for sharing this system with people. Uh, but this is actually the link that you're gonna share and you can track your referrals through this but be sure to sign up for the affiliate program first if you wanna go do that and you wanna receive commissions based on your referrals. The lead capture section, we've went over this one before. This here um, has all your warm market pages, it's got your cold market funnels in here, it's got your blog articles in here uh, that you guys can go ahead and share on social media. We went through training in the last video on how to use those. The do-it-yourself lead capture pages, you guys can pick from these templates and actually populate these pages with your own content. So feel free to just to dive in and go through this. It's super simple. You just click on build your page and then you pop your info in and you can spit out custom pages in here. The my blog section, you guys can go ahead and blog, write your own blog articles, really powerful. If you guys wanna spend 15, 20 minutes a night cranking out articles, those are things that you guys can share. Um, on your social media, on your Instagram, wherever, it's a good way to be able to build, not only for SEO uh, reasons, but also on top of that, creating new you know, content. The people that put in the most work with the system are gonna be the ones that win, all right? Especially um, going through, if you go over to resources and training, go to this SEO training tab and go through the training videos here. Because what you're gonna learn in here, you can then leverage in the my blog page, okay? Or the, the blogging platform. My video pages here, you guys can create a video page, super simple, just follow these steps right here, click save and it'll spit out a link for you. You guys can share that, all right? Um, let me cover one other thing while I'm thinking about it. The My Marketing Pages lead capture, you guys see over here to the right, you can pretty much tell the system what um, page you want people to see after they opt in. So if you guys make your own custom page, you know, in one of these tabs I was telling you about, like the do-it-yourself lead capture or the video page, you can actually tell the system to send people to a specific page after they opt in. So say you make a video page of a video thanking you guys, thanking the person for checking out Solar and you wanna reach out to them, so here's your name, your email, and your phone number, and if they wanna text you right now, they can. You can actually click to the right of these pages, click edit, and you can set a custom redirect. And you can tell the system, hey look, I want you to send people to this link afterwards, you know, or joessolar.com, you know, or whatever the case may be. So I'm just telling you guys that you, you have total flexibility of where you want people to go um, after. Now by default, it goes to the tour page, all right? And then by default, it goes and it defaults to the uh, solar marketing campaign that we have, the email marketing campaign that goes out. That's what's here by default, all right? But you guys can customize what people see afterwards. Let me go to email, text, and voice. Go to SMS voice messages, really powerful here. You guys can set a text message to go out to people as soon as they opt into your page. So just to give you a quick example, let's go over to lead capture. Let's go ahead and grab this page here. Someone pops their phone number in here, you can actually have a text message go out to that person right when they click get estimate here. So if you go over to email text voice, click on SMS voice messages, you can type something up that says something like, you know, hey there, I see you're checking out, geez, sorry about that. Checking out solar. When is a good time to get on the phone to answer your questions? Text me back at, and then put your phone number here. Reason why you guys put your phone number here um, is because this these texts will go out from a 339 number. The reason being is it'll work anywhere in the world. So that might not really matter here, but you guys want to include your phone number so they can easily just click it, text you right back. 
So you just step one, create your message. Step two, select what landing page you want this to go from. So you select right here, you'll see these titles correspond to the aliases here. So you see right here, I'll show you an example like V18, V17. That's what you are seeing in this section here. See that? So you can go ahead and select what page and then just click save. And then the automatic text message is linked to that page. All right, now that's only a pro feature. So for anyone that's not a pro, if you want to upgrade, you can do that by submitting a support ticket. We can take care of you. Um, so that's what that feature is, really powerful. If you guys want a voice message to go out, that's another really powerful feature. So instead of a text message going out, you can actually have the prospect's phone start ringing immediately. The phone number would display as your phone number and if they pick it up, it's gonna be a voice recording from you. So you can select voice message, upload an audio clip, and then the phone will start ringing with a, with a um, voice call or a voice message from you. And you could say something as simple as, hey there, you know, this is Joe, just wanted to let you know there's a real person behind this. Uh, if, you have any, or if you have any questions, just hang up and text this number back or call this number back, whatever the case may be. So that's what that feature is, all right? SMS keywords, we're not gonna worry about right this second. QR codes and short links, don't worry about that. Email settings. Uh, this one here, you guys can populate information in here that will populate in your emails. So put your phone number here, put your email here, put your name here and your main URL or your website. This should automatically be filled out by the way. But if you wanna edit it, what I'm telling you is this information that's entered in here is gonna be what shows up in your auto response emails that go out to people, okay? So that's what that is and just click save. Let's go over to message campaigns. You guys can drill in and see what campaigns we have here. So the solar power sales too, if you click on this pencil, here are the, uh, the messages. You can drill into these messages if you'd like. So you can just click here. You can dive in and you can actually edit these messages if you want, all right? See like my website, my name, the system will display your information there. So that's how that works. You guys can edit, you guys can add uh, more to this. And if you guys want more training on this specifically, just go over to our customer support portal and just type in email in our search bar here and you'll see articles that are relevant uh, that show you more in depth how to use that, all right? You guys can go ahead and create an email right here. You can do a broadcast. Just follow these steps here, all right? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Let's go over to uh, email stats. You guys can see all of your email stats in here by selecting your campaign. And I'm running through this fast because here's the reality, guys. What you want to do is you know, go in here and mess around and you're going to see the system is pretty user friendly as far as giving you like a step one, two, three. And if you're confused on it, you know, don't get worried. Just send us a support ticket. We'll get right with you. Um, so, you know, if you're saying, well, hold on a minute, I want to know more about that. I recommend going to the support center and searching for your topic here first before you submit a ticket. If you can't find something, then reach out. But we do have a lot of stuff in here because we know what questions you guys are asking because a lot of them are the same amongst a lot of our members. So just, just exhaust that resource first and then reach out and we'll absolutely help you out. So that covers pretty much that in there. Let's go to contacts and leads. You guys can go ahead and look through all your contacts by going here. You can drill into your contacts by clicking on any of these buttons here. Let me go ahead and drill into, uh, let's jump on this one here. Let's click here, jump into it. It's going a little slow because of the screen recording, but you can see information, all right? When they visited, you can click on the view pages visited. You can see what emails were sent, what, what emails were open. Now in this case, it was just a test account. So none of these emails were open, but if they were, you would see another record here that said like email open and then a score would be added. The higher the score, the uh, higher, the higher, the hotter the prospect is, right? As far as the action that they're taking. Show you what autoresponder campaign they're on, what page did they come through, when did they visit your site and when did they revisit. So that's what your contacts and leads section is. The my referral section here, you guys can see who you referred to the system. This is a good way of tracking your affiliate commissions as far as seeing how many people that you referred. So that's what that is there. Uh, bah, bah, bah. We're not gonna go into any of those other things right now. Calendar and tasks, you guys can set up a calendar here and create tasks for yourself. Site analytics and email stats, you guys can check those out, pretty self-explanatory. 
marketing tools. If you guys want to set up like an ad co-op system for your team, you guys can do that by setting an ad co-op up here. You create an ad, create ad new co-op. Now what this means is, say you had a team of five solar reps, they were all on your team, okay? And you wanted to set up a Facebook ad where the ad drove traffic to your five links, okay? You can actually set it up in here where um, you can, let's just do a test, solar co-op, where you can split that traffic up. So every time, imagine the Facebook ads up and 100 people click on it. Every click is gonna go to another one of your team members' links. So click one goes to you, click two goes to your teammate, you know, A, click three goes to your teammate, B, click, and you see how it rotates? And it will only rotate once a lead submits information, which is really cool because then everyone gets the same amount of leads. So you're gonna name your co-op, you're gonna select what page you wanna run traffic to, and then you're gonna select what thank you page you want people to go to, that, that tour page. So in other words, what page are people going to after they opt in? So let's click solar tour page, click save. And then participants and total leads, obviously zero. Your next step is to click manage and then add the people that you want to include in this co-op. So you're gonna grab your team members, run with solar account subdomain. So it might be Joe or it might be Ryan or it might be Susie or it might be Janet or whatever the case may be, type them in, click add member, and then the link will be built and will rotate between those user subdomains, all right? So that's how that works, really cool tool that you can go ahead and, and obviously bring more solar reps onto your team, but also help everyone if you're gonna be running the ads and whatnot. So the ad co-op system, we have an ad tracking link. You guys, if you're buying traffic through someone, you can create an ad tracking link so you can test stats and see that way no one's BSing you as far as, hey, I sent 150 clicks here. Well, you can see how many unique clicks actually went to the link by using this ad tracking link feature. So just read these instructions and if you have questions on it, of course, hit us up, okay? But pretty self-explanatory through there. Uh, so we're good on that. Opt-in widget, if you guys are running like a, a WordPress blog, you guys can actually build a widget to embed on your website where people can opt in, that's pretty cool. And then split testing. You guys can set up a split test where say you wanna test traffic between two links. Say it's V11 and V12. And you can do solar split test. What'll happen is the system will create a single link for you that will bounce back and forth between these two pages. So if we click this open, here's a page. And now if we refresh it, it shows this page. You see how that works? So you can bump back and forth between those pages see how many hits and see how many leads you got from each one to see what page is working better for your traffic source. So that's what that is. Let's go over to resources and training. Be sure you guys hover in the system training tab first, go through the system training here and be sure to go to runwithsolar.info slash learn um, to learn, I mean that's probably where you're watching this video, to learn the stuff first, but then if you guys wanna dive deeper into some training, there's a lot of stuff here on how to go ahead and do you know different things. And when I focus specifically on some topics that you guys might have questions on. So be sure to exhaust this resource here, the system training, and then also go through this SEO training section right here as well on how to start blogging and how to start doing SEO. The traffic sources, there's a bunch of stuff in here too. If you guys wanna do some paid traffic stuff, you can do that here. There's Facebook ad campaigns here where if you click on view content, we have a headline, ad text, and then objective, as well as images that you guys can download and run ads to if you'd like. So here's just some done for you type stuff that you guys can work with. Be sure you click the view ad content. And from there, you're pretty much good. So guys, you know, go through this, pause this. I kind of ran through it quick, so I didn't want to keep you on an hour long video, but the goal of these videos are to run through it quick, but allow you guys to pause and check things out as you're watching. So. With that being said, I would say this, and I'll leave you with this, this system does a lot, and it's not to overwhelm you, it's, it's to empower you with tools to be able to go make it happen, but use one thing at a time, and don't freak out and get you know analysis paralysis where you're like, oh my gosh, it does so much, where do I start? Start small by going through and using the warm market pages. And while you're doing this, and you're texting people, and you're prospecting, and you're handing out business cards, go through the training and learn how to do the cold market stuff. Start posting on Facebook with the techniques that I show you in video too. And you're gonna to start to see mo momentum and learn more stuff every single day as you level up, so to speak, in your online marketing efforts. So with that being said, 
enjoy this or I hope you enjoyed this. Ask us questions if you have it. Look through our support portal if you have questions beyond this. And if you don't, reach out to us and we'll help you out. So with that being said, appreciate y'all and we'll see you in further trainings. Talk to you in a bit. Bye-bye.